M0FXB Retivis C62. Let's download the software and program the radio. So go to the link behind me now, go all the way to the bottom until you see here where it actually says firmware. Click that and just run, run the zip, okay? And then you're gonna have the software. Now these are quite inexpensive to buy these devices and there is actually software out there where you can use this in digital mode now it's not dmrd star fusion um, but in this video we're just going to use the normal software and add a couple of channels um, in uh, not in digital mode so once it opens we, i am using just a normal bofeng cable here it's a beautiful looking radio, VHF, UHF. Very interesting that it has this digital chip because some people are saying with firmware modification, it could do M17, which I know a lot of people are talk about, although, um, you know, that's been for many years now. So if we just go to up here, go to setting, set com, where it says setting, and then choose the com. I've chose mine, which is three. To find your com, just right click on your yellow folder right click go to let's get it right now right click on your windows square device manager scroll down to ports double click and then there it is there com3 and once you've set that then you just go over to program and just go read and it reads very well ignore the password thing just go read you can see the radio doing its thing it's a nice colour screen. Airband isn't good on it. Airband's very much like the Bofeng radios, really. Now, if you get the... Once it's finished, just click the little X here. If you get the other software, when you go in here and double click, it, it gives you the choice to use analogue. But it doesn't here. So now, you know, this is the list of channels there. And, of course, you can do, like, different settings... If you look here, you've got function setup. Uh, let's have a quick look. Offset direction. There's an airband frequency there. And I'm looking just here. Offset direction, decode, frequency. Uh, CTCSS. Key defines. It's quite advanced, isn't it? Timeout. Voice English. So I'm just sort of looking at this for the first time i've not really looked at this this one before ptt offset offset direction plus and minus signal code busy lock talk around anyway um so what you would do is you'd go to one of the channels that are blank so we're going to go just here <coughs> this one and we can just click the arrows at the end it opens up a new window and we can start, uh, it's just it's just giving us a channel number, which is four. So let's put down here the channel name. We're going to call it GB3FI. And then we're going to put in the frequency. So 430925 on receive. Ooh. 430. And then it's, it's all changing as I type. <laughs> uh, four, three, eight, dot, five, four, five is the transmit. Tone on decode, I'm going to put as none. But on transmit, I'm going to put just here, 77. And yeah, it would be nice if I could select digital, wouldn't it? I'm just looking. Let me select. But no, nope. so looks fine. Close, and we've got GB3FI there. And then you just write it to the radio. So you've got your shortcuts here, but I always just go program, write to radio. And then write. There's no password. Yes, it does DTMF. You can see it's sending there. So I'll put the links in the description and as I learn more about, I've asked around already, send me the digital one so I can put it on digital 
and uh, and then I can at least see what it sounds like. Even if I'm listening on an analog radio and we hear that digital sound, at least we know it's digital. There's a couple of videos that videos out there already. There's the Facebook group, which looks like it's only just been set up for people that want to experiment with this radio that's still for sale at a very low price. Um, so that's it, that's closed. And then if you turn it on, go up the channels, you'll see there GB3. FI, oh, we need to go on the A band. Look at it, it's got air band, PMR band, and um, yeah, only one PC. It's a nice, it's actually a really nice looking set. Um, the case reminds me of my Anytone actually. So that's enough for this video. More to come. Bye for now, 7.30.